Just thought I'd put together a short video here on uh, some of this uh, PPU ammo, or pre-partisan, as it's called. Now, you know, with the price of ammo these days, everybody's looking for some cheaper ammo. And I'd been wondering about this stuff, whether it was any good or not. It's a lot cheaper than most ammo that you find. And I've heard some people say that it's junk, it's just blasting ammo. And other people say that it's pretty good ammo. So I thought that maybe I would just get a box or two of uh, several different calibers and try them out. And I figured if nothing else, the brass would be good for reloading, even if it was blasting ammo. And I'm not above just going out and having a little fun with some blasting ammo anyway. But uh, whether somebody calls something uh, good ammo or junk uh, maybe depends on their requirements. Some guy that's trying to hit a prairie dog at 300 yards needs all the accuracy he can get. Somebody that's trying to knock down a deer at, uh, at 100 yards, uh, you know, the being able to clover leaf uh, a three-shot group at 100 yards isn't really important. All you got to do is hit the kill zone on a deer. But anyway, um, I got a couple of boxes of 22 Hornet, three boxes of 25-06, a box of uh, 7.5 by 54 French, a box of 308 Winchester, and a box of 30-06 Springfield, and figured I'd try them out. I haven't taken any of it out and shot it yet, but a little bit ago here I did take the calipers to them, and measured them out here and uh, as far as uh, the case length, the overall cartridge length, case diameter, rim diameter, the whole nine yards, uh, everything is well within uh, specifications. No obvious flaws, looks like it's been made with uh, decent quality brass. So, Except for the well, the 25 out six is a hollow point, and uh, the 22 Hornet is a soft point. The others are a full metal jacket. Not terribly expensive. Everything seems to be well within spec. I took uh, several different cartridges and uh, measured, uh, you know, the overall case length to see if the bullet seating depth was uh, the same. And the most that I found was, you know, maybe uh, one here and there had a thousandth of an inch difference in the bullet seating depth, which is uh, actually just as good as you'd find on any American-made ammo. Uh, a thousandth of an inch is uh, approximately a third of the thickness of a sheet of a notebook paper. It's inconsequential. Quenchal, <laughs> if I could learn to talk. <laughs> But anyway, uh, after I've had a chance to shoot some of the stuff, maybe I'll have some more comments for it. But uh, as near as my handy-dandy little calipers can tell me, uh, everything seems to be well within spec. And assuming that uh, the powder charges are, are you know good and consistent in them, I would say that they ought to be good shooters. I did, uh, I did take the 308 a while ago and uh, the 30-06 and drop them into the chamber of the M1 Garand and uh, DPMS uh, AP4 uh, uh, and tried to, you know, just see how well they chambered. And the DPMS it has a notoriously uh, tight chamber on that gun and this fit in there uh, snug but uh, not uh, so tight that you would think it was going to jam on you or anything the 30-06 fell into the chamber of the Garand just fell in and fell right back out just like it ought to so they seemed to chamber good and like I said when I took the calipers to them and measured them in various places they all within spec of what they're supposed to be so as far as the measurements and everything go that should be good ammo uh, 
just have to take it out and try it out and like I said what some people consider to be junk and what some people consider to be good is all depending on their perspective and uh, what their needs are and basically my needs are not uh, terribly great uh, occasionally I will go out and hunt but uh, I hardly ever go out and do much hunting anymore uh, I just like to go out and shoot targets and have a little fun with the guns and so anyway uh, we will see what we will see I guess I just thought I'd give you a little look at this stuff I just got it uh, just got it uh, in a package just uh, just came uh, yesterday and thanks for watching